everybody this is lauren of plan most plan welcome back to another plan with me this week i am planning or memory planning the week of my birthday in my erin condren life planner um i used a kit from crafts by towie that she gifted me as a birthday present which was so sweet thank you so much tao if you're watching this i had so much fun planning with this kit it's truly beautiful and just like a perfect kind of birthday celebration kit especially if your birthday is in like spring or summer I feel like it's just a really I mean it's really any time of year birthday kit but um, I just really really enjoyed um, planning with it and I had a lot of fun I feel like this you know like pink and gold is definitely super celebratory and I just feel like it turned out like a very kind of birthday ish spread even if well, I had a great birthday, but definitely my birthday this year was different than in years past. So, okay, um, I think I sped this video up a lot, so I don't have a whole lot of time to talk, but I am going to try and talk through a couple questions that I'm still going through questions from when I asked them in February. I don't even know if I'm halfway done. <laughs> um, okay, so jumping into those, um, Nia Hearts Magic asked, how did you get into your field of work and... Uh, number two, when your love of makeup started. So two questions. So how did I get into my field of work? It was actually a total coincidence. Um, I was doing tech sales. I had a couple jobs doing tech sales when I graduated college and I hated it. I really did not enjoy it. I feel like if you live in the Bay Area, it's fairly common if you like, I, there's so many tech sales jobs here. Um, or like Silicon Valley area too, that a lot of people, like a lot of my friends, a lot of people that I knew after college, they got straight into tech sales, but I really didn't like it. I um, tried to actually tried to quit my job <laughs> um, doing tech sales at my second job, and um, I wanted to go back to school actually to be a um, like I was looking at doing um, family um, therapy at the time. I was just wanting to kind of go back to school because I love, I really love school. It's something you may or may not know about me. I, I love to learn. Um, but, um, yeah, that didn't end up working. I just like application. I don't know. I just like what my life plan was at the time. I wasn't so sure that I wanted to go back to school for like up to seven years. It just didn't make sense. So, I actually just registered with a temp agency that a friend recommended that did a lot of like retail and beauty um, like placement for they did they placed other stuff too like I did temp jobs where I was like I did like a financial one for a while and then they um, asked me if I was interested in this position um, for somebody who's going on maternity leave at my company and I was like absolutely and it just like it kind of was just a coincidence it's one of those coincidences that happen where I feel like if you put out the energy of this is where I want to go and this is where I want to end up into the world I just kind of did end up there oh my gosh okay that was half of her question <laughs> before I got into Monday um which kind of leads into the second part of the question which is when your love of makeup started and I would say like fifth grade I can remember doing um like reading 17 magazine and like them having beauty tips and me like trying to recreate them in my bathroom with like the little makeup products that I had left over from my mom <laughs> um okay so I've just always loved it I really have ever since and I like loved playing with like Barbies and like video games that you could like do Barbies makeup and stuff when I was little too like I've just always been very girly in that way um okay I'm gonna move on to the the day by day here so I marked working from home same way I've done it in the past I just used a paint up or design scallop and then a uh, screen from crafts by Towie I had four meetings this day just marked them with a page flag from the kit I marked doing a voiceover with um a um well you know you can see that that's from Harriet Wright Designs I do want to say that I get cut off here in a second so I'm going to jump into a live view in a second here um momentarily Hi everybody, so um, as I may have mentioned, I am doing this part live because I lost pretty much all of Tuesday's footage, so I'm just going to talk through the stickers that I put down, um, hoping to find a solution for this soon, but as of right now, it is what it is. So um, I filmed on Monday, I put down this kind of, um, you know, I don't know, diamondy sticker from the kit. I've, 
used a lot of these. Um, they came with a sheet of these. I used obviously a lot of them. Um, and then this is from Magic Prince Co. And the stars that I layered on top for the foil are from uh, the Giving Girl, and then this is some Simply Gilded Washi. Moving on to Tuesday, I just have the cupcake down, and then I marked work from home same way as I did the rest of the week. It was my cousin's birthday. This is from Simply Watercolor Co. I do have a coupon code for her. I believe it's Lauren15. All my coupon codes are down below. The My Newest Addiction uh, foiled quarter box. Well, obviously it's from My Newest Addiction. Um, and then I marked that we did a happy hour for my cousin's birthday. So I took this piece of deco from the kit um, and then I layered some more um, kind of sparkles from The Giving Girl. I thought it looked cute, like kind of bubbly or something, I don't know. And then the big bow is from Paper Blush Bar. Um, this this post plan with me I posted a video it, this computer's from the kit and then the heart is from simply watercolor co and then I actually made two makeup orders this day for my sheep tape concealer and I think with Sephora I think it was during the sale and then um this let's see I marked working from home again same way two meetings this sticker is from the kit and then um I marked that I had a lunch and learn which is when we like spend time um, during lunch learning something with my company or within my department generally. So normally we get like lunch catered, but obviously <laughs> not the case when we're working from home. So I just used a half box from the kit. This coffee cup is from the kit. This sparkle again is from the Giving Girl and the Today sticker is from Pan Upper Design. And then I think I can jump back into the rest of the video here. All right, so I'm back. Um, again, I'm just, I, I've, started doing this thing where I can see myself recording live on my laptop but um and it's great because I can see I don't lose footage from being out of frame but I do I can't hear when my camera shuts off anymore so I do end up losing footage that way I am trying to figure out a way to keep that from happening but okay anyways back into Wednesday um that barbecue is from Crafts by Tally, super cute I'm just marking that Steven barbecued this night so I always love those nights <laughs> um and then uh the little divider was from Rose Colored Days I'm marking um well no I'm not marking I'm putting down a half box from the kit I actually think I separated the double box um, so that was part of a double box. And then I don't think I mentioned that the headers that I put down, everything from the base of the kit was pretty much from Crafts by Towie, I think, except for the date dots were from Paint Upper Design. But the headers that I used over the full boxes are actually from Paper Muse Crafts. She has my favorite bow headers, like the design of them are my favorite. So I will just go like buy her bow headers even if I didn't buy the kit or I'll buy like doubles of her bow headers from certain kits because um, I just like the design of them. Okay, uh, working from home, marked that the same way I did. We lost some mail this day. We were having a lot of trouble with our apartment complexes, mail processes, um, and between Steven and I, we lost some really important packages. I was able to recover one. He was not, um, but it was just frustrating, so I was on the phone dealing with that, like, for hours this day, literally, and then, um, so I marked that with the, you know, whatever from the kit, and then the bow is from the Giving Girl, so mark some work tasks, the uh, bell is from Panda Bird Design, and then I marked that I watched the NFL draft for the first time in my entire life, because uh, Steven was streaming it, like, with his friends, and I was, like, totally down to just stay in my bedroom and not pay attention to it at all, but they were asking where I was, so I, I like, came out and sat with all of them while they were, like, streaming it. Obviously, we were all you know, in our own homes, but, um, yeah, it was, it would ended up being kind of fun because we opened a bottle of wine, I made tacos, I baked some cookies, I think we ended up having beer, <laughs> and we just all kind of hung out, and I wasn't really paying that much attention to the draft part, but, um, yeah, the, uh, wine glass that I used is from Miss Jess Plans. Okay, uh, moving on to Friday, I cut down a flag from the kit. This is very crooked. I don't really like this very much, but oh well. Um, I marked my day off with a rose color day script. Again, I have mentioned this, but at my company, I had to take forced PTO for like seven Fridays in a row or something as a result of all of this COVID stuff. So I marked that. And then I had a doctor's appointment, like a virtual one in the morning. So I marked that with a quarter box from the kit. And then 
a um, the stethoscope is from Crafts by Towie. And then after that, in the afternoon, we went over to my parents' house and again, just did social distancing in the backyard where we just stay far apart <laughs> in the backyard. Stephen worked there, I think. Yeah, Stephen was working there and I was just hanging out. Um, and the, let's see, the, the little home sticker is from Paper Blush Bar. She's opening soon. She just announced it on June 12th. So um, I should still have my PR code for her, Lauren15. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. I can't wait. It's been so long. <laughs> um, okay. So then this all looks very crooked to me. Okay. Thank goodness I'm fixing that. Yikes. Um, I don't have my plan. Normally I do this with my planner in front of me. Oh, okay. I marked that I, um, FaceTimed with one of my friends. Um, again, same quarter box I've been using for my newest addiction. And then the phones, the FaceTime phones are from Panabird Design. What's going on here? I, I apologize, I don't have my planner in front of me. I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> oh, okay, I marked with some deco from the kit that we went over after we spent the afternoon at my parents' house. And um, by the way, all of the little like stickers I'm putting on right now, all of those are from The Giving Girl. Um, but we went over to Steven's parents' house and again did like a social distancing kind of evening with them in their backyard. Um, and that was really sweet. Just, they were like, they gave me presents for my birthday and stuff. Really nice. <laughs> um, and just kind of got to, to hang out with them a little bit. I want to say that was the first time we saw them. Maybe not. Maybe we had done that before and I'm not remembering, but anyways. Okay. So moving on to Saturday, I marked going to Whole Foods in the morning. I would normally never go to Whole Foods. It is way too expensive, but I had a cooking class for that my aunt does via Zoom that I needed ingredients for, marking that right here with the apron from Crafts by Towie, and um, we I tried to go to like my local um, grocery store, but the line was literally like down like blocks. It was blocks long, so we ended up having to go into Whole Foods. We waltzed right in there. There was no one in there, but it was a really bad Whole Foods too. They had like no produce section, so kind of struggled to get what I needed. Um, the grocery cart that I used to mark that though was from a white deer stationery. And then I marked also, we did a zoom categories night with Steven's family. Um, I love them. They're so fun. Well, I love his family. I admit, I love the <laughs> categories nights. Everybody gets pretty like pretty tipsy, I'd say. And it just is hilarious. Like everything that comes out of it, we're just laughing the whole time. So I marked that with wine because there's lots of wine always included. I made a big pasta dish and Steven again, cracked open a bunch of wine. So that was really fun. I also marked a cookie delivery, um, that my cousin sent me. I received this day with like a cloche from paper blush bar. And then, um, the, place setting is from white deer stationery and um the heart that i put over is from sticky sloth designs i have a coupon code for her as well um okay and then moving on to sunday sunday was my actual birthday um so i am marking that with more scallops the balloons are from the kit and then that birthday script is from um ooh, oh art box stickers <laughs> i lost it there um yeah so just putting down some more of the giving girl deco and then um yeah it's, it was it was a, definitely a different birthday I know if you've had your birthday in quarantine you probably understand what I mean it was so lovely and beautiful just different than usual um normally if you've been with me for a while you know every year normally I spend my birthday going to stagecoach which is a country music festival in Coachella Valley um with my girlfriends and that's how I've spent every birthday since I was in college literally the first time my 22nd birthday was the first time <laughs> I went and spent my birthday that way um so it's just different because I didn't do that this year but Stephen was really sweet he decorated our whole apartment he made me brunch fresh squeezed mimosas lattes bacon just did the whole kind of thing it was very sweet so I marked that with a um planning world champagne flute I have a coupon code for her too down below and then my family was so sweet they I we were like going over there in the evening I thought just for dinner again in the backyard but they like made our backyard all like stagecoach themed and they surprised me with like a stagecoach themed party and they were like all dressed up and there was like cowboy boots and jean jackets everywhere and like just 
country kind of deco. It was very adorable, and I felt very special and loved. So that was super, super sweet. Um, they put a bandana on my dog, and I was dying because I've never seen it with one. It was so cute. <laughs> um, I just used some cup like cupcake deco from the kit um, to mark that, and then. Um, right here, I'm just marking that, of course, we did it like a million Zooms with, you know, both sides of my family and friends and whatever. I didn't want to mark them all. So I just, um, and I'm going back and forth here. This is my sticker book, by the way. I do have them linked in my Amazon shop. I always get questions about that. Um, but yeah, so I just I ended up pulling up the quarter box I was using and I grabbed one from two OBs from my sticker book leftovers and then, um, just marked a bunch of B-Day Zooms with, um, the Panabur Design phones, and then I'm using some more, um, Simply Gilded washi just to kind of fill in that, um, that space there. So I think that that is pretty much it for the whole week here, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Yep, here we go. Um, there's my Viv Wiggle. I think it turned out really well. Um, it's, it's just such a pretty, like, birthday girly kind of spread, so, um, I always feel like you can see the foil better in this lighting, uh, with the close up. So I hope, I hope you enjoy that part. This is like my favorite part to watch <laughs> when I can see all of the foil just kind of come to life. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you're doing really well. I know that I'm posting this. It's been a hard week. Like, uh, just, I think as a nation and even as like just globally, we're kind of mourning a lot of a lot of stuff this week so my heart goes out to you um if you're feeling that way too if you're not you probably should be <laughs> but enough of that I won't go too much into that um but anyways I really appreciate you watching thanks so much I hope you're staying safe and well and that's all from me bye